Thank you, Dr. Era, for giving us uh, some, some of your time today. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, let us uh, give me an update, please, on your uh, crystalline uh, manufacturing uh, plans. Right now, uh, at Mozabir, we manufacture in a place called Greater Noida, which is on the outskirts of Delhi. We have an 80 megawatt per annum cell line and an 80 megawatt module line. So that's what we are doing today in manufacturing. Uh, our plans call for building another 100 megawatts of crystalline cell and module in Greater Noida. Now, um, that's the crystalline side. Obviously, um, it's very well known that uh, you're, a, you're a, a new thin film uh, entrant. Can you give us an update on, your, uh, on what's going on with, the, with your uh, Sunfab uh, yeah. line? So we have, uh, I think, one of the first single junction fab lines. It's running in full production. It, it's got a capacity of 40 megawatts per year. So uh, it's running fine. And we are making quarter size modules and full size modules there. We are not making yet any half size and mainly because we don't have customers for half. Uh, in terms of expansion, there are two sets of expansions going on. One is to upgrade the single junction line to a tandem junction line. And the second is to put a new tandem junction line. So for the new line, the building is up and ready. And, and so that's where the expansion plan. So it'll take, so in Greater Noida, it'll take our crystalline capacity to 180 megawatts and the thin film ca capacity to about 130. So that's the short term plans. Well, that seems a, a very good uh, plan. Uh, you mentioned there with the ta uh, introducing the tandem junction. Um, I wanted to understand, you know, what, what, what efficiencies are you expecting from thin film? And also what R&D efforts do you have ongoing to improve those efficiencies further to, to remain competitive? Okay, so we're going to start the tandem junctions with at least eight and a half percent. We expect to get very shortly between eight and a half to nine with the same processes there. We, we have some R&D programs. Mozabair owns a, a research organization called OMNT in Eindhoven. There we are working on the semiconductor part as well as the, the front contact and the back contact to further improve it and take it to 10% plus. So those are some of the efforts in which we are working on, on processes that are compatible with the equipment tool set. So we see ourselves starting tandem somewhere between eight and a half and a nine and taking them to 10 plus uh, as soon as possible. Okay. Now, um, on, the, um, on your crystalline uh, module side, um, what, what, what development, what R&D efforts are you doing there to improve efficiencies? So on the crystalline side, we have an R&D center in Greater Noida, along with our plants. And what we are targeting is to build our 100 megawatt expansion that I told you with a 17% line, and then go back and upgrade our present 15% line, so that we end up having 17% efficiency on crystalline side, and somewhere nine plus efficiency on the thin flip side. Now, obviously with these expansion plans, um, there's got to be a market for this. Uh, can I uh, ask you to give me an uh, update on, you know, where where is the Indian market right now? Um, the Indian market, the, yeah, I'll tell you. The Indian market is today very small, but very rapidly growing. And there are several sectors in which it's growing. Uh, the government about a year and a half back announced the solar farm projects for about 50 megawatts. Since then, several, and that was the central government, yeah. Since then, several states have announced bigger plans than that, 200 megawatt type plans just for their state alone. And these are all feed-in tariff-based plans. So that's one segment. The other segment that, that we are, and we are very active in it, uh, we intend to do two one megawatt plants and one five megawatt plant, and we are trying to do all three of these this year. Uh, but there is another part which is expanding a lot, and that is uh, industrial rooftop applications. 
we just finished doing two installations on three actually, two small ones on uh, on malls on on the mall rooftops, and one we did about 135 kilowatts on a municipal building. So that sex section is also expanding rapidly. So the India market is growing. The biggest hope there is that the Prime Minister's office has a solar mission, and that calls for growing at a thousand megawatts in the next two years. So um, I'm very glad that the same government has come back, so the same policies will be pursued. So that's where we see that the Indian market will become very significant in the two to three year time frame. I mean, uh, I know there's uh, attention is often given the Indian market uh, from, the, uh, from a rural yeah. perspective and the lack of electricity. Yes. Is, is that where some of the government efforts are going go, yeah, go to go? Yeah, they are going there and we are also participating. So some of the things that are beginning to happen is in the one kilowatt to three kilowatt systems for rural banks, for rural ATMs, for rural lighting. And, but that is just opening up and we are participating in it and we'll be very very active in that segment also so it's a, there's a uh, there's a multi-prong multi-segment approach that the indian government has taken and some of it is with private partnership some of it is uh, with uh, most of it being bought by the government and for example the solar lanterns are actually distributed by the government so there, there's a whole host of these and I see a very, uh, very active solar business in, in India. It'll take probably two to four years to mature.